Hello everyone, welcome to the Splendor tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this camera effect inside of Blender. Let's get started. Um, I've already created the blend file and I'm going to walk you through every little step because it's fairly easy. So first of all we are working in the Blender internal render engine and as you can see I have aligned the camera along the z-axis and I've already created these borders and a date that represent um, the camera layout or overlay. These are fairly simple, so I guess you can create something similar yourself. And the material is a simple red material that I've set to shadeless, so it won't receive any light or shadows. And I've set the transparency to 50%. One important step is that I've also added two textures. A wood texture that I called lines. It's a simple standard wood texture, just select it. And a standard noise texture. But I have deactivated those textures so they won't appear on the actual object. I just need those textures for the compositing later on. I'm going to show you what I mean by that now. Let me switch to the node editor and give it a quick render. You can see this is the, let me maximize it, this is the node setup to get our final result. And let me start. First of all, I have set, I have an image import node to import the movie clip. You can find that under input, just select image and then you can open up your movie clip. Uh, be sure to select auto refresh and to set your frame number to the number of frames that the movie clip actually has. And you might have to switch this from single image to movie clip or image sequence depending on what you are working with. Also, don't forget to use a scale node set to render size. This will make sure that your imported video is always stretched or fit inside of your actual render size. You can see that here, that's the normal video. And I have given it a blue tint with the help of this RGB curves node. I have increased the blue value and increased the green value a little bit. I have decreased the red quite a bit. You can see that here. And I've also given it a little bit more of contrast. You can see an S curve like this increases the contrast and I have given it a slightly more contrast than the original image. Next I have that's where we are desaturated the image and then we already can alpha over our rendered camera uh, or render, rendered camera overlay. You can see those squares in the corners and the date are overlaid over, we, over the video. We do that with the alpha over node and before that naturally we have to import our render layer. You can find the alpha over node under color alpha over just as the RGB curves and the hue saturation value. Next step, I have added some lens distortion to that, but 
not actual lens distortion that would let me show you that quickly that would really distort the image to towards the edges but only i only wanted this as you i hope you can see this kind of color offset effect you can see the red is here then some green appears on that edge and to do that i simply activated the projector and this effect where the colors get offset a little bit that's set with the dispersion value you can increase that but i like it at around 0.4 now we are going to need the textures that we've created. Let me show you what I did. I imported the textures with a input node, the lines, um, color. This right here is the standard wood texture. But what I want is this right here single lines that are like a video monitor to do that i can set the scale of the of this wood texture to zero for x and zero for the z value and as you can see i have only those horizontal lines but they are still too big so I scale up I scaled that texture the y value up to where do I have it here? 30 actually. So we have a lot of small black lines and I simply multiplied that over our image as you can see some lines appear darker than the rest but that's not all i wanted the lines to move let me see if i can show you that i hope you can see that the lines move a little bit and how did i do that simply as you can see a texture node has a let me quickly redo that has a offset value and when we increase the y offset we can move those textures around and in order to have this effect over time, I simply added a time node that inputs a starting value and a ending value, a different ending value over time. And the higher you make this curve, the, f the faster those lines will move. So we have moving lines that get multiplied over the original image the multiply is simply a color mix node uh, a color mix node that i've set to from mix to multiply next we want to add some noise so again we input a texture node and we select the noise texture we don't have to scale or offset it, but as you can see here, the noise is fairly small and I want it a little bit bigger. So I've put a distortion scale node into it and increased the X size a little bit and the Y size a little bit. And then I've used a simple mix node can find that once again under color and mix to overlay the noise over our image as you can see with the factor value 
you can increase how visible the noise is or how little you see it. And finally, all of this goes into the composite output node. And I've just added this viewer so I can show you all the single steps. I hope you enjoyed this. That's all for now. And see you next time.